So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim McLaughlin, Director of Athletics, Class of 93, and I want to welcome you to the historic Knott Memorial for what will prove to be an historic day for Union College football. Uh, we're very excited to announce our 36th head coach in the history of the Union football program, a program with great tradition, pride, and illustrious history, a program that dates back to the late 1800s, and we're looking forward to bringing on our next leader to bring us back to where we need to be. Uh, it, it was a great process throughout all of this. Um, we, we had tremendous amount of support from so many different individuals, but I can assure you this, this wasn't arrived at as a singular decision. This wasn't arrived at alone. And I want to make sure that I thank and acknowledge all of the individuals that helped with this overall process. First, there was the 12-member search committee uh, comprised of faculty, many of my staff members, and current student-athletes. Uh, I do want to recognize the current student-athletes, uh, Jermaine Korn, who was with us, uh, Jason Nelson also helped us out, and A.J. Baker, and they were invaluable in the process. Um, there were many campus reps that helped us as well, too, to really demonstrate what Union's all about, to talk to Jeff and his family about who we are and really sell the institution uh, about what Union's about. And those people like Nick Famular from Development, uh, Ann Fleming Brown from Admissions, and Bob Souls from the Career Services Office were of great support. There were a number of coaches that were invaluable to me in this process. Uh, First thing I did was went back to, to my playing days and uh, talked to Al Bagnoli uh, about trying to identify individuals to help in this process. Uh, Al, along with the longtime offensive coordinator here, uh, Chuck Priori, the two of them saw great success. They were instrumental in helping me identify quality candidates for this wonderful position. There was one individual that was absolutely invaluable to me, and uh, that was Jack Sidlecki, class of 1973. Jack was uh, a Union alum of the 70s, a uh, longtime football coach at Amherst and Yale University, uh, an individual who did things the right way, and he helped me in identifying quality people to lead our young men at this institution. The alumni played a huge part of this as well, too. Uh, there were three in particular that I want to recognize. Uh, first, there was Trustee Bill Wicker, class of 71. There was Trustee Bob Bertagna, class of 85, and the president of our Gridiron Club, Anthony Marotti, class of 07. Uh, they, they helped in working with the candidates, screening the candidates, and really demonstrating the support that we have for this program here. There was, of course, the two individuals who have been so supportive to me for so many years, uh, our vice president, uh, my boss, uh, Therese McCarty, and the president of Union College, uh, Stephen Ainley, who have provided great support through this process, and they provided great leadership for our college. Uh, our college at this time couldn't be at a stronger point, and a lot of that has to do with the leadership that they continue to, dis to display and uh, the work that they do. And the most important group were the student athletes. Uh, they were uh, invaluable through this process. Uh, I shared with them on many occasions that after each candidate came back, um, one of the things they talked about was the passion, the enthusiasm, and just kids that I want to coach, each and every one of them. And they were so helpful in this process, and I really thank them for that. Um, Consolidating all of that, I think we arrived at a terrific decision for the next leader of Union College. Uh, an individual, a man of character, uh, a man of integrity, a man that does things the right way, uh, a man that we look forward to welcoming with open arms to Union College. Uh, Jeff Berman is a graduate class of 95 from John Carroll, uh, Division III student athlete. Uh, he had many stints at a number of different places, including Trinity, Hofstra, and Stony Brook, where he saw market success, uh, along with my former coach that he worked under for 14 years, Chuck Priori. Uh, Jeff is an individual that, that believes in the entire undergraduate experience for our students. Uh, he believes in success in the classroom, first and foremost, uh, in the community, and on the playing fields as well, too. And before I bring up Jeff Berman to introduce him as our next head coach, I want to give a very warm welcome to his wife, Karen, his son, Brock, who are joining us here today, and we thank you for being here with us. So warm welcome for Karen and Brock. And 
with that, it's my absolute pleasure to introduce Jeff Berman as the head coach of Union Football. Thank you, Jim. Um, it's, uh, it's great to see everyone here. Uh, it, it shows me the commitment uh, that you all have for the success of Union College and, and the Union College football program. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a very humbling experience um, to be the head football coach at Union College. You know, I'd like to start by thanking President Ainley and uh, Vice President McCarty, you know, for their trust and their faith in me uh, to lead this, this program at Union College and to lead these young men to uh, great success in their lives, not just on the football field and in the classroom, but in order to make an impact uh, within their communities, whether it be here or back home. Um, it's, uh, and I'd also like to thank, uh, you know, Director of Athletics Jim McLaughlin, uh, he said to me early in this process, I think it was during the phone interview, that there's no handbook when you're looking to hire a new football coach, and uh, it certainly is not. But I can say that uh, his energy and his passion for Union College and the success of this, this college uh, came through bright and clear to me. Um, it was a process uh, that uh, was done with tremendous uh, passion. It was a thorough job, first-class job, and it, it just uh, proves to me that the leadership of this college and this, uh, this athletics program is in great hands with Jim. I'm looking forward to meeting with him um, here in the, uh, in the years to come. Um, I lost, I'd also like to thank the search committee. Um, they, uh, they were a terrific group of people. Uh, they welcomed me with uh, open arms, and, and that's something that, you know, that I will preach to, to prospective student athletes, uh, you know, when they're going through the process. It was always taught to me that when you get that feeling, when you get those goosebumps, when you're somewhere in life, you know it's the right, the right place for you. And uh, they certainly, everyone that I, I became in touch with and had the opportunity to, to speak with while I was here on campus made me feel like that. And uh, it, it meant a whole lot to me knowing that, uh, you know, that, that I was going to be working hand in hand and side by side with all of them and also uh, a great place to bring my family and have them be a part of. Um, to my wife, Karen, and my son, Brock. Uh, it's, uh, my wife, Karen, is my rock. Uh, she is uh, what keeps it all together for me. She allows me to do what it is that I have a passion to do, and that's to, to work with these young men and to help impact their lives in a positive way. Um, but uh, if it wasn't for her, um, I would not be able to do what I do, and uh, you know I certainly appreciate that, and uh, thank you for that. Uh, my son Brock, 12-year-old, uh, he is my uh, motivation. He is, he is every time I wake up every morning is uh, it's it's my job to, you know, in my my ability to strive to to show him how to live the right way, which is with honesty and integrity, and um, you know that's something that that I feel that now that I, I, I do have one son, but I, I'll have a hundred more sons now being the head football coach at Union College, and I look forward to that. Um, I'd like to also thank my friend and my mentor of the last 15 years, Chuck Priori. Um, he's uh, been instrumental in my development and my growth as a, not only a coach, but as a person. Um, he's taught me how to do things the right way in the profession, and, uh, and I certainly uh, am indebted to him uh, for, the, uh, for the opportunities he's given me. Um, you know, many people say, why union, you know, um, and, and I want to answer that because uh, it wasn't, it, it, was, it was directly um, related to me early on when I started learning about Union College, and this is going years back from alums and, and other people that had worked here, that it is truly a special place. It is an impactful place that will change your life, um, and, uh, you know, it's those experiences that, that, uh, that I want to be a part of. Um, you know, the deep-rooted pride and passion that alums and, and uh, people that worked here that they have in Union College was the common theme everywhere I, uh, everywhere I, I looked, because certainly I was doing my research too, and uh, it, it, was, 
it was uh, definitely a destination that I saw uh, that fit me personally as a, as a person, as a, as a football coach. Um, it's the values of Division Three athletics. You guys are called student athletes, student first. And uh, that is truly what this whole experience is about. It's, uh, and, and that's who I am to my bones. Um, I played Division Three football. I've coached Division Three football. My experiences at Trinity College. Um, when I was there, I knew I want to. I want to be. I want to be at a place like Union College um, to be able to impact the lives of everyone that I can come uh, in uh, in direct relationship with. And uh, you know that's a big reason why I coach. Um, you know certainly there is a tremendous academic. Uh, tradition here at Union College um, that is obvious there's a there's a tremendous athletic um, tradition here at Union College and uh, it's going to take a lot of work uh, to get us to where we want to be and successful but it does start in the classroom it starts with being successful every single day um, that you go to class that you're that you're attentive that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and uh, it's very simply said that um, you know and I told the guys and that was one of the best hours that I had here on this campus was when I got to spend time with about 20 of the players in the auditorium. And, and uh, if you guys remember what I said there, it was, it was about improving every single day. If you can improve every single day in everything that you do, whether it be going to class, whether it be in the weight room, whether it be in a meeting, um, whether it be uh, going to a professor's um, office hours, if you can improve every single day, just imagine who you'll become in four years let alone 40, 40 years and 50 years down the road. Um, I mean, the world will be a better place because you've improved every single day. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm here to help you guys improve. I'm here to help you guys reach your goals and to take you where you never thought you could be, where, I've never, where you've never thought you could, you could get to before. Um, that's my job. Um, I'm ecstatic. I'm humbled. I'm honored uh, to be the head football coach at Union College. I look forward to working with this uh, incredible uh, Union College community uh, to help everyone here, um, past and present, be proud of, of Union College and Union College football. Thank you. So, Jeff, thank you. Uh, we look forward to working with you each and every day and supporting you uh, in order to support these fine young men here. Uh, I know they can't wait to get started. We can't wait to get started. Uh, I talked to Jeff this morning at 1030, and uh, he was in his car at 1130, uh, getting off the island and up here because he said he wanted to be here for the recruiting weekend. He wanted to be here to meet the students. He wanted to get started. Uh, I couldn't be more excited about that passion and energy, and uh, I'm confident that we're going to have great success in all areas under his leadership. So thank you, Jeff. So just one final thank you uh, I, to our media that, that are here for each and every one of our events. Uh, Eric McDowell says it all the time, I echo it, we, we have the best media of uh, any region that is always there for us, does a great job for all of the college sports, the high school sports, and provides tremendous coverage. And we thank you for all you do in promoting all of the schools in the Capital District. So thank you. Finally, we're going to conduct some interview sessions uh, right over here. Uh, you've got a chance to meet with Jeff as well, too. So everybody, thanks for coming. We appreciate your time. We're looking forward to getting started. Thank you. Sorry about that. Sorry about the mic. <laughs> I figured if I picked it up, it would have got worse. We're going to get it done, my friend. Oh, we are. <laughs>